We know that treating a net infection and having it come back in a week means we probably haven't removed all the eggs. They've hatched and we're back to square one. So the egg ID and removal part of the knit kit is absolutely crucial. The good news is that doing it properly and then conducting regular checks with the powder means you can jump on any future infections while they're minor and super easy to manage. In terms of lighting, it doesn't have to be pitch black, but dim lighting, so inside, out of natural light, is definitely the most effective. I often get my best results at twilight as the kids are watching a movie. I'm going to get the powder ready by cutting the corner off the pack and tapping it into the dispenser here. If I didn't use the applicator, all the powder would fall in one big clump in one spot, which makes it harder to spread. And you'll see these little holes allow you to sprinkle across the scalp. And remember, it's always easier to add more rather than to remove too much. You want to thinly coat the hair strands so the powder binds to the egg and brushes off the remaining hair. Again, I'm focusing on the hot spots, so behind the ears, the crown, and the nape of the neck. And knowing that lice like to lay eggs in the warmth, I'm focusing on the area close to the scalp. We know that the most viable eggs, as in those that are going to hatch, are usually within 10 millimeters of the scalp. And as a rule of thumb, a knit check should use approximately one third of the bag, but extra long and thick hair might need some additional powder. If you had longer hair, I would also again section it out and clip it up so I could get to the underneath areas. You'll notice that we don't provide the traditional knit comb. That's because we found the knit combs to simply glide past the eggs, which isn't overly helpful. Instead, the brush is designed to aid you to evenly distribute the powder across the head, and you can choose which side suits the hair types that you're working with. Okay, now it's time to remove the eggs, or nitpick as we call it here at Ice by HQ. Again, you might find it easier to use a hair claw or clip to section longer or thicker hair. I'm shining the light onto the scalp, and those eggs should suddenly be a lot easier to spot. I've also given the extra light to Hugo so he can have a bit of fun experimenting with the luminescent side of things. When you identify a potential egg, pinch the hair strand between your thumb and forefinger and run your nails down it to remove it. Now remember, dandruff brushes away easily, but knit eggs stick tight. I don't wear gloves because this can make the thumb and forefinger action harder, but you're welcome to if you have sensitive skin and are worried about any potential reactions. I'm going to focus on the eggs closest to the scalp, as those further out will have less chance of hatching into lice. And if possible, I like to get hold of an extra pair of hands, i.e. one person to hold the light wire pick, as it certainly makes it a faster and easier process. It's essential you work methodically across the scalp to get them all. You'll also see that there are some tattoo stencils included in the kit. You can use the excess glow powder to make a neon Nora knit or create luminescent tattoos of your own. And all the designs that are sent to us or uploaded on our Facebook or Instagram go into the drawer to win cool prizes. So now we've finished the knit picking, I'm gonna leave the powder in as it will work its way out on its own and the remaining powder will be absolutely fine stored somewhere cool and dry. I could wash it out right now, but I find I can use the remnants of the powder in the hair the next day to do another check for any missed eggs. The most effective way to avoid another infection is to keep checking the hair every few days with the glow powder and do another lotion treatment if needed. And then if you get into the habit of a fortnightly glow powder check, you're going to catch any sneaky eggs well ahead of time. It sounds like an extra job, but believe me, it's so well worth it to catch the eggs instead of having to do the sticky treatments every time.